I know that these girls are crying as Ryu leaves them yet again. But all I can do is laugh. Maybe the first time I felt bad for Seria saying, Aw, aw. And then Latifah, and I was like, Aw. And then <laughs> Rudy and, you know, Sayu, and I'm like, <laughs> How many times are we gonna do this shit, bro? <laughs> this dude just goes from one place to another. <laughs> just, just... He just doesn't do anything either. The girls just start worshipping him, saying, Oh my god, he's so hot! Him simply existing and breathing, I love him. And he's like, well, I gotta go now. I'm probably not gonna write a letter. They're like, <laughs> Hey, at least we're back with Latifa though. And there's a new girl, but the new girl was always there. The pinkier girl that I mistakenly thought was a goddess of an isekai, but is rather like a spirit, right? So it's come out. Maybe we're gonna make a contract. Maybe our hair will change. Let's begin today's reaction. And all the girls are gonna get cussed. It's a girl in me. Sarah is, uh, on another level of code. Like, this is how delusional the simps are for Rio. They're like, no, this is fine. He was always such a pimp, bro. This is just a normal activity we've never seen yet. I can't believe she's playing defense for us. Usually the trope is, yeah, hentai and you slap or something. But like, here it's just like, oh my god, he's so cool. I don't know. Great spirit, human form. You have a name? Okay, we've already made a covenant? A spirit's awakening. Awaken these nuts. Dry ass. When did you get in, in us? She was always there as a kid. How convenient. Bro, you don't know shit. That's right. They all have low tier B shaped spirits. Damn, that's fucked up. I just realized. Even the demi humans. And yes, it's a slur apparently. De demi humans are a slur. Doesn't that mean a human is also a slur to us? I don't know. But like, think about this. These people who are like. Wilderness people, beast people, even within their hierarchy of spirit tier lists, a human form is better than a beast. I want you to think about that for a second and deeply think about the inherent prejudices that stems from human supremacy, even within the beast people. It's not my system. They have considered that the human form is superior than a beast form. Something's off here, man. Michan. <laughs> Michan. You're Michan. Because you're the main dude. Also, notice how she says Haruto instead of Ryo here, right? Yeah. Oh my god! Ryo has been living a double life. Ryo only acted nice and kind towards us, but in the moonlight, he's Haruto, the pussy slayer just cheating on every girl. Hmm. Oh, we can telepathically talk. We're gonna have a private convo. <laughs> What's the other girls thinking, bro? They're just sitting here like... These two are just staring at each other. Like... Is this tension building up? What? What are they doing? They're just staring at each other. They're just staring. Latifa. Michan. Maybe instead of Michan, a different vowel. Mu-chan. Yeah, let's go ask Raya's. 
様も人型の精霊ですしそうですね一緒に来てもらって<笑> She's glowing. I thought we were going to do some stupid cliche fan service, but uh, spirit clothing. She can just change whatever she wants. You can make different clothing. Michan. The realization that's Michan, bro. Oh my god. Aisha? Was her full name Aisha Mi? I don't. Michan sounds like a nickname. Ancient language. Okay. Aisha. Sakura blossoms, cherry blossoms, springtime. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, a warm spring, spring. Just like the Haru and Haruto. Haru is also spring? We're both spring? Aisha and Haru. You know what's springing? His dick. Yes, it's Onei chan and Oni sama. Onei sama. Okay, the girls are glazing, they're not jealous. But it's looking like uh, she doesn't have her memories back. I don't know if every Isekai character gets their memories back. Latifa had it back. But this girl, not yet, or else she would know. But the fact that she instinctively calls you Haruto means that it's not necessarily all gone, but in the subconscious, something is there, but she hasn't really realized why it's there. <laughs> はい。詐欺だったらしいな。何分いきなりでしたので。しかし記憶を失っておら。自分が私の契約。おう、ドライアス。What's up, Dryas? So like, other beings can become spirits and they get elevated and they turn into a different identity but the past memories are back. But this is different because like, she was a fucking human in Japan and she somehow got isekai and then immediately got elevated, I'm assuming. But then again, she was also here before us so there's no direct like confirmation that she immediately turned into a spirit. She could have been a regular human and then got elevated before Ryo even got here. <laughs> Yeah, it could be just like spirit to spirit, not just like human to spirit. Because she asked, like, what kind of spirit were you before? So, like, I guess beasts can then later evolve into humans. Again, that's what I'm saying. This, this, the more I think about this system, the more I realize how inherently flawed their system is and the prejudice is placed on their own fucking people. You telling me it's it's not just like a fixed thing. You telling me that a beast can then evolve into a human spirit? What does that say about their system? This shit racist on their own terms. Specious. Specious on their own terms. Everything. Everything.全部とは。いや。あらゆる系統の精霊術が得意ってこといや。多分。ラストマヘルシグニフィケントゼンブウォズオシノコ。本当に愛しやと戦う。ウェイウェイウェイウェイ。ウェイ。ウェイ。ウ
She is us, and we are her. Copycats. <laughs> Surprised they didn't fucking flash their panties here. This show doesn't really do that kind of degenerate fan service, though. But like in any other shows like this, the wind would have just like did an upskirt, you know, panty shot. Pretty even. So she might be just better than us. Hmm? Oh. Welcome to the family. Also means that Ryu can pretty much use all elements. No one's really asking about that though, huh? I guess I just accept that. At least the second highest level. Meaning it's not the highest level. It could be, but like, this might be only second tier and there could be another first tier spirit that we just don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, Aisha probably is first class and dry ass is second. Based on like all element shit. <laughs> hey, no eating the product. <laughs> Imagine. Oh shit, is this our house that we're gonna be carrying around? Is this an indoor bat? Wait, wait, wait. Is this the house that you made? That we're gonna put in our like spatial dimension? <laughs> and like the girls are just gonna be traveling in our fucking house? I got a dormitory for the waifus. But like, imagine being Latifa and the other girls and like, oh, Rio's coming back. Wow, finally. And then there's another girl just naked in the bed with them. And they're just like, Walt, he came back, but we're cucked now. And think about what Sedia's going to react. Because Sedia is actually romantically engaged to Rio. These girls, not really. Latifa is more like a little sister. And the other girls, I don't think they really have a shot. But Sedia was the main girl. And we didn't write to her at all. After, you know, the first couple times. We go back home. And then we have like an army. An armada of waifus. Poor Sedia. It's gonna be funny as fuck though when that happens. Huh? <laughs> also, I think that uh, Aisha and Ryo's relationship is more akin to Subaru and Biako. Because like a spirit, maybe it's not the same thing, but like an easy way of maintaining Sedia's main girl and stuff like that is to have Aisha, her love for Rio, to be just like a spirit form of love. Where it's not like romantic love, but just absolute loyalty. You know what I mean? Ain't no way you rewrote that again wrong. Huh? <laughs> Already. Yo, girls, come live in her house. Her mobile house. What's her favorite food? Is it the ramen? Because I know your ass ain't making ramen. You were not in Yagumo. Yeah. She should just come with us. Take this fucking house near storage. No, we gave Latifa no time. He <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Washing back is very normal between siblings, guys. Yeah, let me watch that tail. Yeah, Be better than that, come on.
<laughs> Latifa likes that big broad back, bro. The fucking Hanma demon's back. Silver back gorilla back. Rio doesn't even have a big back, bro. This dude has the most fucking slim fit build. This ain't a big back. Yeah. So about, you know, Haruka. Yeah, Haruto. Every day. So that wasn't a one time thing. Every time Ryo was like, hmm. just doing Ikemen stuff, just looking out the window. She was thirsty for him. Every day, bro, commuting to school. Oh my god. Did Ryo even know? He kind of did, maybe, that one time. And at this point, it's pretty much confirmed that this girl was one of the girls from Yagumura. Actually, I'm not too sure. That wasn't really discussed. Because I think that this girl also popped in, right? And I thought that she was just Yagumo girl. But no, right? It wasn't. None of that shit was discussed ever. So we're still kind of waiting on this girl to show up, I think. Or she just didn't get isekai like, wouldn't that be funny? This is just a red herring. And like, she didn't get isekai Oh, yeah, it's in the opening. We could probably find it. I don't want to spoil it. I already kind of like, quote unquote, spoiled it with like, Michan, you know, because it was so obvious in the ending with fucking <laughs> Michan on one side and the fucking Aisha on the other side. I'm like, hmm. Gee, I wonder who the pink hair girl could be. It's not a, I don't think it's like a huge spoiler, but it's just like a little mystery that would have been fun to kind of, you know, guess about. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep this. I'll keep this to myself for now. Pasta girl, maybe. How could she know about pasta knowledge? <laughs> yeah. So, like, I guess the girls ain't coming. I thought this mobile home that we're gonna put in our fucking infinite storage was where the girls are gonna be stored, but, like, nah. It'd be really cool if the bus driver was Isekai and the bus driver's, like, Lucius. Like, the bus driver is actually, like, some super evil bad guy. That would be some giga, just brain move. But they never really show the bus driver. They only show three characters in the bus, so I don't think we can really go with that. But, god damn, could you imagine? Or, like, they could keep doing this where they keep retconning in new isekai characters. Because we don't know how many people were in the bus. You know what I mean? Like, new arc, every time you need new content, you could keep having the- Oh, yeah, by the way, this person was also in the bus. So was this guy. And this guy. And it just never fucking ends. That bus had 50 people in it, and we wouldn't even know. <laughs> Anywhere else that needs more rinsing? I'll let you handle that, Latifa. で、よだの。これを。何か術式が雰囲気設定した座標へ転移できる魔道具じゃ。座標はこの里に。ユーズ、インスタントランスポート?まあ、一方通行だから。ほんとの場所へ戻ることは貴重なものなのでは。<笑
What in the letter, bro? After how long has it been? Three years? It's been like three, it's three years plus now? I don't even know. It's definitely two to four. I don't know, somewhere in that range. It could be like three plus? Senia! Is that the first letter still? Is this the first letter she's been keeping all this time, bro? Oh my god. Ugh. Boo. Are you Is this a fucking arranged marriage? Are you serious? What's going on right now? This is Stuart's family, right? Yeah. Fuck you, Charles. No, this is Vice Captain. I genuinely can't fucking figure out the hairstyles because they all have the same fucking blonde part hairstyle. Okay. Ex no, demoted Vice Captain. And Stewart's. Was that even Stewart's brother, by the way? I don't even remember. But there was that guy that also looks very similar, too. Yeah, this is the Arbor family. And then the other faction was the uh, House No. They have a No in their name. I forgot their last name. Anyway, there's two factions. They're just shitty. Not huge. That's what I was trying to remember. They're not huge. <laughs> Go back? Chaos. What's going on? <laughs> she don't believe that. Ain't no way she believed that, right? Let's go, bro. Get out of here. Ugh. One thousand. Here we go. Before we were at nine hundred something. This is a turning point, man. They've entered four digits in their calendar year. Lots has changed. The population going up. What's happening? Oh shit! There's the hair change. This is the place where we were getting pasta, right? Or is this back home right now? This is home, I think. We skipped the pasta place, right? I think this is home. Weddings parade. Nobles wedding parade, bro. Oh, shit. We gotta crash that wedding here too, man. Okay. <laughs> when did she get the sandwich, bro? Look at her eating. She's so cute. Arbor. Yeah. So it's Sedia's thing then. Sedia and that shitty vice captain. Yeah, she just like goes invisible in spirit form. Right? Next episode's gonna be crazy. The setup with the royal wedding banquet, whatever. She can just go in and open for us. Oh my god, bro. The spirit form. <laughs> Break B and E, baby. Break, break and enter. Bacon and eggs. Easy, baby. Yeah, we stay safe, all right. You here? <gasps> it's open. Oh no! The books are gone. She ran. Or maybe she left. Maybe her plan was to just get the fuck out. Mind control. What the fuck, bro? She can just do that? You can you you can just do that, bro? Like the spirit powers are not just like crazy attack powers, bro. This is some utility shit. So, remember, Arbor family is the one that's having the wedding parade. But, Huguenot, Stewart's part, they're gonna do something about this. So, it's looking like both sides are just kind of clashing. Sadie is kind of caught in the middle. We should let these monkeys fight amongst themselves, but we should take Sedia. This is interesting, the politics here. Huh? 
With who? With this piece of shit. Boo. You die, die, bro. Fuck you. We're gonna crash this wedding. And that is another episode of Spirit Chronicles. This last arc is gonna get spicy. We have another wedding crash happening, man. So this is gonna be really hype. Today's episode was all about the awakening of the spirit within us. Michan, Aisha, Haruto, both representing spring. Got like a mobile hot spring house that I thought the girls were going to come with us, but no, nah, they're staying here. We also have like an instant teleportation device thing, but it's only one way. Hair color change pin. Just ditching Latifah and the girls again. But it's important because right now, Sedia is having an arranged marriage, I think. And both Arbor family, who is, you know, part of you know Charles' family, right? Charles is part of the Arbor family. They're going to be clashing with the Huguenot. They're, the Huguenot faction is also going to be doing something. So like... What will happen? Also, what about race? What about that guy who was collecting all the dragon eggs? What's he gonna do? Maybe he'll also show up and do something crazy. Also, remember? Flora still has a debt that she could never pay back. We left Flora in such an awkward state. I wonder if she's even thinking about us. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.